Hello, my name is Tatiana. You are at FlossTube channel. Um, Tatiana Stitch USMD. I am a medical doctor who living in uh, United States, in California. I'm finishing my education in two months, and right now I'm doing my fellowship in hematopathology. In two months, we're going to move to Mississippi area for my job. Uh, I'm a Russian cross teacher who live in the United States, and today we're going to talk about cross teach. This is a channel about cross teach, crafting, and a little bit of life. Uh, this would be my third floss tube video, but I want to uh, do it in a way of my cross stitch diary. I try to show you every day my cross stitch um, life and maybe my um, crafting life. Uh, usually everything happens after work and maybe I will chat with you a little bit. A uh, couple of last days I am cross stitching this pattern. This is a way that my cross stitch organized. Let me show the design. This is designed by Vivienne Powers Zodiac Series Sun and Moon. This is how it's supposed to be at the end. And I am stitching the middle part right now. This is how it turns. Let me show um, how my stitching life usually happens. This is my um, uh, thing that usually used for woodwork. This is how it's holding my uh, Q-snaps. And I'm stitching it on um, 24 counts uh, Congress Stramin using SHS threads. And this is the way that my threads organized. I put it usually uh, for this work because it's 24 count and I'm stitching it uh, like half stitch. I use two strands um, of um, threads and using 50 centimeters, 20 inches uh, long threads. And for me, it's kind of enough. For example, this is the length of my thread. Uh, in this case, I'm stitching it very fast. I'm using this uh, printed um, pattern. This is P PDF design. For this design, I decided to uh, do not do uh, cross-stitch saga. I actually sometimes use just PDF uh, chart on my iPhone or iPad and um, highlight with yellow. Usually, uh, I cross-stitch maybe like for two hours in the evening. Today after work, I have maybe like a half hour before my son and my husband will come after uh, daycare. They, they went to pick up my son and I have some time before they come home. And after my son go, will go to sleep around nine, I will have maybe like one and a half hour to cross stitch or do something else. I usually in a day I'm able to stitch at least in this pattern um, in this pattern maybe like uh, five to eight hundred um, squares hundred by hundred basically eight hundred uh, stitches last couple of days I'm stitching only this design when I started it it didn't have this part and it didn't have that part and this part right now it have it right um, it has it <laughs> i'm going to finish uh, hopefully today this area and we'll go on opposite side here's a half moon area and this is would be half sun area this is how it's supposed to look Yes, I'm going to turn to this direction and finish this a half of the circle. I actually finish this maybe one fourth of this circle. I didn't finish this bottom part, but I think I will go to this direction. And you see, after that, it would be very, very nice design. 
for the zodiac. My zodiac is this, I think it's Capricorn in English. My son is Scorpion. I love this. <laughs> I love this Scorpion sign. And my husband, he is... Um, I don't remember this name, <laughs> name of this water, something, waterfall, yes, that is why this top would be fun to stitch, very fun to stitch, nice, I will continue and I will talk to you tomorrow, and let me show you, this is my cat, this is my cat sleeping, hello cat, kisa, meow, Say meow, say hi to everybody. Right now we're actually traveling and I decided because I have a few minutes, maybe I can film and un answer a few questions that I have been asked. I like all of the comments, but I think whenever I have time, I will answer uh, question by question because it's much harder to find time when I sit down and no, non interrupted can like speak for an hour. Right now it's almost impossible to find time like that. But life happens and we adapt, like I, I'm used to say. Natalie uh, Hatala um, asked me many nice questions. When I uh, talked about Cross Stitch Saga, I was showing how I using it and she was asking, uh, that she uh, most of the time using pattern keeper, but she started buying more charts for Eastern U Europe and some of the charts also can provide with XSD format files and she's asking how she can get XSD files from uh, companies uh, that produce charts like RTO, Esther, Olis. Actually, I should say that uh, this older company like Arto and Reolis, they do not provide uh, charts. And some people uh, can create charts for themselves. Like I was saying that um, I can create XSD file if I have PDF file. There are sp special program um, uh, that can transfer basically you transfer manually all uh, pdf file to xsd but it takes so much time it's you have to really spend like a couple of evenings to transfer one chart to another because you're doing like um, uh, one sign one sign one you're doing click 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 for all chart this is what you do and i don't like that i know that some people who uh, created the charts they can share the files between like friends and usually um, if you have a kit you can uh, use it uh, xsd files but without kit uh, you cannot use the dmc color it's just converted and you really have to trust the person if you take in that chart maybe he did some mistake uh, without original chart it's like very risky to stitch um, the chart that you didn't create for yourself that is why it's it's very risky i would not advise to do something like that but company like like creolis do not produce uh, do not provide these um, xsd files another question it's about ST. ST actually is providing XSD file or PDF file, but XSD file you buy it differently. And uh, they, when you buy a kit, they give you um, a flash drive, and on the flash drive, it's XSD files that you download. I think I also need to show how to download XSD file because. Uh, when you open XSD file, um, for example, I'm using iPhone, and on iPhone, um, the way to open, you select Cross Stitch Saga, and it takes a few seconds uh, to open XSD file. Basically, when you click on the X, for example, I bought um, um, I bought a couple of um, ah Russian Russian um, patterns from the Russian designers. She sent me PDF file and XSD file and when you click on the XSD file, 
you choose uh, open with and I open with cross stitch saga and it takes um, sometimes 30 seconds and it's downloading on my XSD file but from Ra Russian designers for sure providing the XSD file but um, ST also provide but for additional uh, money I think it's like maybe ten dollars additional ten dollars yeah, they will provide um, XSD file that will be as a uh, flashcard. Even if you bought uh, their pattern before and you want just to add um, additional um, XSD file, I think you can contact them and tell them, and I'm sure that they're speaking in uh, English or somebody in the company speaking in English because it's like a big company right now. and. Um, you can tell them uh, you just can should prove uh time of your purchase when you bought it like maybe number of your kit i don't i don't know because i never bought uh, a stair kit before and um you just uh, will request or will ask them to provide xsd file and i think they're going to resend you again because it's like flash card Yes, and also Natalie saying that uh, she was um, she had that fabric and she bought it from AliExpress. The fabric that I uh, using for cross stitching, um, it's like 20 count, 32 count, and it's kind of uh, uh, equal amount of vertical and uh, horizontal uh, threads. And she bought it for her furniture, and she never realized that it could be used for cross stitching of course <laughs> of course we can cross stitch or embroidery on any fabric I don't think that you need special fabric line and uh, special color you can do cross stitching or embroidery on anything that you can put your uh, needle through and uh, hoop on and just start doing embroidery <laughs> I just would like to show you how I sometimes stitch at work. Right now I am on my working place and this is my uh, project that sometimes I take with me to my work. This is horses, horse family and this is just under kit. It means that I don't need any pattern. I can stitch from um, this uh, AIDA fabric with printed um, pattern. and. It's usually very easy and comfortable stitch anywhere. This is how I hold my uh, fabric. I create some type of angle and I stitch uh, using one hand, but I stitch uh, through two holes at the same time. It means that I'm not going back and from back to front, from front to back. Actually, I'm doing front to front, front to front. It means that uh, by one move I create a half stitch um, at the same time. Right now, for example, I am at the meeting actually and I'm listening to uh, the presentation and sometimes I'm looking at my screen at the presentation and just stitch. And I decided just to show you how it is usually for me when I'm able to stitch maybe like 100 stitches sometimes 400 stitches but it's very rare uh, as you can see i am uh, sitting in separate office but it's separate cubic it means that there's not many people around and everybody sitting um, in their cubic and my cubic is the last it means that not many people come in especially during the meeting to like see what i'm doing i usually try to not show what i'm do doing <laughs> I don't want people to see that I'm stitching, but I'm not really shy. People know that I'm stitch. I want to show you my progress for yesterday. As I planned, I was working on this uh, process. This is a Zodiac Sun and Moon sampler. And if you remember, I, I was supposed to finish this top part and I completely finished it. And. Uh, This is how um, I usually work in it. I can use a PDF file on my phone or I can use this um, um, 
like printed charts and I usually like to calculate how much I stitched and for four days because today it's March uh, it's May 5th I basically yesterday stitched for four days of May I actually stitched when I calculated 41 um, hundreds stitches this is how I calculate I calculate square uh, things uh, like some parts like that I do not count but if you see there are incomplete uh, hundred square uh, but I still count in it because some of these uh, stitches can go here and this is how I usually calculate my progress and I think my progress kind of really really good for four days uh, it means that I was teaching a little bit more than 1000 stitches a day but I think it's for me it's okay uh, because it was weekends and I was able to stitch in the um, evening in the afternoon during my sun nap time and during evening and about this paint I will tell you a little bit later <laughs> another um, things that I plan to stitch today, I still want to continue with this uh, project. Before I was thinking that I will go and continue stitching this uh, half, of basically here's uh, moon, here would be uh, uh, half sun, here's half moon, half sun, but I actually decided that I will go and start stitching zodiacs. Uh, okay, this paper is done. It's I'm going to throw it away, and I will start stitching. Actually, I uh, looked by, by my chart. I'm going to start start stitching this scorpion, and um, I have easy explanation. My son, he's a scorpion. That is why, and scorpion supposed to be over here. Basically, scorpion would be here. I think it's good for me to start stitch. Scorpion. I already have mark where I'm going to start stitching. I think I will start uh, putting these um, um, stitches on the side of the uh, this circle, and after that I will start filling this uh, this pattern. But it's uh, supposed to be really, really beautiful. I think it will be gorgeous. This is, will be my plan for today. If I stitch. Uh, around like 500 stitches I will be really happy but again my plan is to start doing contour of the circle and maybe I will start filling uh, some uh, circle inside we will see another thing that I did yesterday uh, this was painting this is my first oil painting I am actually using Bob Ross image uh, videos that I found on the YouTube. There are, um, I think, channel, I will link it below, the channel where I'm watching uh, Bob Ross video. I also have a couple of um, DVD discs uh, or CD disc um, that I was watching, that I purchased for painting. And this is also one of the project on the DVD disc. But at, at least at this time, it's much easier to stitch on um, using YouTube. And this is the beginning. Here would be beautiful mountains, but uh, this black canvas, um, I stitch, um, well, I stitch, <laughs> I paint maybe like five days ago. And after that, I, I waited when it will dry really well. Yesterday, I spent some time painting these beautiful clouds. Of course, it doesn't look anything like uh, it's supposed to look on the Bob Ross picture, but it's uh, become really, really yellow in my case. I think I'm going to, to maybe upgrade it a little bit, but when it will be fully dry, right now it's not dry. I think I'm going to wait when it become really dry, and after that I will start uh, painting mountains and here would be river and uh, trees this is why we will see it will be really really beautiful and um, i purchase 
a um, couple of uh, nice things on the in the hobby lobby stores. This oil paint it was uh, on discount, fifty percent off. Really, I also purchased black and white additional because apparently uh, it used up really really fast and a couple of additional things it's these brushes and it looks like everything from this is from fine touch and this is from the master touch this is uh, biggest um, um, companies that you can uh, buy stuff in the hobby lobby store and additionally i purchased these things for oil painting apparently it's really really necessary hopefully i can do it <laughs> i like to paint um, i always was painting with acrylic paints uh, but right now i decided oil paint like i should try it i have to try it and also uh, apparently you're supposed to have this kind of um, white spirit white spirit and this is for if you want to br uh, wash your brushes clean your brushes and also if you want to smooth it, smooth um, the paint itself yes we will see this is what i did yesterday it was interesting evening hopefully today it would be the same interesting i will keep you updated tomorrow hello today is may 7 uh, friday after work my son right now um, with my husband in the store and i have few minutes to share uh, my progress yesterday on thursday i did stitch but i didn't um, share with you my um, progress but that is why today I want to show you progress for two days. Um, cup, last couple of days I continue working on this uh, zodiac sampler, sun and moon sampler. Let me show um, how I organize the prog uh, process. This is actually the folders that I bought in uh, dollar store or 99 cent store. It means that this box uh, cost me 99 cents but i really like it because you see it's kind of thick and it's more than enough space to keep everything that i need and it could be arranged really nicely as a project bag and this is first time that i'm using this normally before i always arrange my um, process one um, this uh, shelf this is like plastic shelf that I bought in Walmart and I think each uh, uh, each uh, plastic uh, cabinet has like three shelves but you can put them on top of each other and I, I think I have like 15 um, basically 15 shelves like that I can put um, uh, on top of each other or I can divide like do like seven and eight and and I think I was using it like putting on top of each other like all 15 it means that at the same time I could stitch 15 projects but by the time my project uh, become more than 15 I start putting like a couple of projects in one uh, one shelf but now because we moved and I don't have uh, space of my own I stop organizing my projects like that but this is my favorite organization because I can take one shelf, uh, put it and start stitching. I think this is the best for me. But because I don't have enough space, we live in a two bedroom apartment and uh, we have um, a young child, two and a half years old. Um, that is why we try to manage space differently. But in future, this would be my future organization. But for now, I'm looking for stuff like that and I kind of like this organization it means that in this project I keep threads and threads I organize this way um, I want to show you this is uh, also I bought on Aliexpress you can buy this uh, cartoon like paper thick paper um, 
uh, organization uh, for threads and this is like 60 and when I was buying it I was buying it like from 1 uh, to 30 and from 31 to no from uh, from 1 to 32 and this one from 33 to 64 but this is actually the way that I'm organizing it on opposite sides there are no labels and I write in labels by myself I write in DMC thread but this is not DMC this is SHS uh, Chinese uh, threads and you see I actually put uh, this um, elastic tape I taped it with paper tape and this is how I uh, bring my uh, needles in this tape and it's really easy I want to show you I remove my needle and when I put it back I put it like that it's really easy and this needle with this thread correlate to this color and needle uh, with this thread correlated with this color it's very easy to organize threads like that for me uh, and this project because I stitch on 24 count congress me I told you before that I actually organize it in the 50 centimeters or a half yard uh, lengths of the threads normally I always organize my thread by one meter or one yard but this time I decided to do 50 centimeters and I think for congress stramine project it's the best because this is half stitches two strands and I don't mind to do more uh, uh, like when I start um, I do this um, what is the English name <laughs> for the beginning of the um, thread the way that I um, started I have a not knot but micro stitch that um, after that, I my, micro stitch. I start with micro stitch and I finish with micro stitch. Uh, and I think for me it's easier to stitch actually with 50 centimeters um, lengths. Um, and I put them in this box, and also in this box I keep these uh, charts. And I was telling you that when I finish 100 square, I usually highlight that this 100 square finished and this helped me to manage my um, uh, speed and I start working on the scorpion and this is how it looks like beautiful this is gorgeous you see this is scorpion tail beautiful colors very bright colors that is why for me this uh, project is my happy happy project and this actually i stitched for two days um, i didn't count how many stitches i have here because um, it's hard to uh, count at this time because i stitch a little i stitch a little even here if you think that this is a, a lighter green it's like one color no it's like two colors and it has some kind of pattern over here <clears throat> It's nice. I usually, when I stitch just a big piece, I start to highlight my design by these squares and I put it in my uh, notebook, my cross-stitch uh, diary that I usually um, keep. If you're interested to see how I organize my cross-stitch diary, just let me know. I, I would love to talk about it because I like to talk about numbers and cross-stitching. I don't play any cross-stitching games or I don't... Uh, uh, stitch together with a uh, like, group of people. I'm kind of uh, solo <laughs> in cross stitching, but I motivate myself by uh, numbers this, that I stitch uh, and I keep it in the diary. And these numbers motivate me a lot. And especially the numbers that I get at the end of the month. Uh, some project I counting by this if it's like paper chart i count in by these hundred squares and uh, another uh, projects i counted by number of threads because i know that like a one meter thread if i uh, 
put it like twice length and I stitch with two threads and I stitch cross stitches. Usually it take me like from 50 to 60 uh, crosses, like one thread. That is why uh, those projects I count in by how many threads I stitch that evening. And another project I use cross stitch saga. I have many ways to count my uh, stitches or crosses. And this is the biggest motivation for me. And when my uh, stitching done, I put everything ba back, everything back in the bag, because like I have a little child at home, and of course I don't want him to touch any threads or scissors. And if you see, for projects like that, I use many needles that I can um, put on the uh, this cartoon paper, uh, but uh, like scissors and magnets, um, I usually have like small box and in the, that small box go, goes with me for every project that I stitch. Like scissors, I don't put scissors in every project bag or every, um, every shelf. But I have just small box and that box goes with me everywhere. For example, additional needles there. And maybe I will show you my small box, <laughs> favorite box also later. And um, this design actually go in the big cabinet where I keep a couple of my threads. I also want to show this design I stitch uh, these last couple of days, maybe um, several times at work, and I was just uh, taking one color, and with this one color I stitch uh, half uh, stitches, uh, three threads, half stitches, and I just continue with one color, go around, and a couple of days on my meetings that I have because everything is virtually right now even if I'm in my office I'm still virtually participating and some of the meetings I just should listen I shouldn't participate much and it's not really educational in a way that I have to write something or make notes that is why at that meetings I can sit down and stitch and this was my project for this week I usually take it uh, in my purse, in my big purse, where I take my lunch and uh, all stuff that girls need. I have big purse. <laughs> that is why my cross-stitch pattern can fit in the purse. And I usually put it like that, like this, and like this, and this goes in my bag. Or I can do this way, and it can fit in my bag. I don't even put um, any additional bag or project bag. No, because I have like section in my purse that specifically for cross stitch. And I was working just on one color. I was working on this lighter color this week. And uh, a day at work I was able, today for example, I did hundred, uh, no, two hundred, no, hundred. Uh, half stitches. Uh, the other day I did 400 stitches. I had like three meetings and uh, another day again 100. That is why little by little I, I can see my progress and I still have some thread left and I need to continue that color uh, over here. I want to talk a little bit about these kind of designs because I um, have some discussion in the comments from um, uh, my viewers. Thank you so much, by the way, for your comments and for your nice words and uh, just like being here. Uh, you're very, very welcome on my channel. And um, uh, I told you before that I really, really like uh, Joy Sunday stitches, uh, Joy Sunday kit. Not um, just Joy Sunday as a company. Actually, my uh, best... Uh, things that I like about Joy Sunday, it's a, uh, I like this pattern. I never buy Joy Sunday kit with white Aida. I buy Joy Sunday only because of this pattern. I try different uh, companies from AliExpress. I actually have several uh, companies uh, that I tried like five years ago uh, before I realized that Joy Sunday has the best quality of these uh, printed 
uh, design on the fabric. That is why other uh, companies I stopped using because I didn't like how they put that square. Some squares uh, could uh, move a little bit on the AIDA squares. That is why it's much harder to stitch. But Joy Sunday doing pretty good job on putting the square aligned to the AIDA squares. And another thing that I never have problem removing this um, paint from the a fabric at the uh, by the time I finish my project and I go to put it in the cold water and like a couple of hours one hour uh, a little bit washing without any soap without any uh, shampoo um, it just goes away with no problem because I did try another um, company and I did have problem because I have some uh, on the light uh, crosses that I stitch, for example, with white, it, the ground paint was like blue, and I still could see blue through that white. That is why I tried several things before I fall in love with Joy Sunday. And um, short discussion that I have with a couple of you, of course, it's about uh, the Joy Sunday copying the designs from other company. Unfortunately, I know that. And this is, you know, I know that this is bad. I do not support them for that. However, they do a wonderful job with this kind of pattern. Unfortunately, not as a company like can offer me this way of stitching. A uh, couple of other Chinese companies could, but I don't like the quality of the AIDA or uh, quality of the designs that they put. Um, quality of the patterns that they put on the fabric or like uh, quality of paint that they use for this printed fabric. But Joy Sunday at that sense is my favorite and because I love it stitch this way so much I am okay closing my eyes and realizing they, they doing bad job uh, taking designs from others. I also should say that they don't repeat 100% designs uh, because like I heard it several times and by myself sometimes I see very big difference between for example dimensions kit and this kit. First of all dimension use different number of uh, uh, colors, it's, they use their own colors. It's this Jew Sunday they transfer everything from uh, dimension colors to DMC colors and instead of DMC threads they use an SHS, uh, like thin synthetic colors, uh, synthetic threads. Um, that is why it will, I'm not stitching dimensions. Uh, and I also should say that they also changing some uh, pictures a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's smaller, sometimes they, uh, instead of two colors, they put just one color. I realize in that. And I realize that I will not have quality of dimensions. And actually, I'm not looking for dimensions quality. I'm looking just for, in this case, like three horses standing in the water in different color of the tree, in different color of the sky behind the tree, in different color of the um, like grass or water. Water could be any color. Water could be, and if I have a little bit uh, differences in the uh, tone of colors, I'm okay with that. I'm not buying every, uh, like every um, dimensions, like or some other companies um, kit. I don't because, like, I just buying something that I could see. Uh, being okay if colors would be changed and I still think that I would like the uh, whatever I will get at the end and you know like one time with my friend I was talking about this Joy Sunday kit and I told her you know I'm not a smoking I'm not a smoker I never smoke however I imagine Joy Sunday is like cigarette and I have a need for cigarette and let's imagine person who like to smoke. He want to quit, but he loves smoking. 
He understands that at the end he could get a cancer, but he's still smoking and he enjoying every cigarette that he takes. This is how I feel about Joe Sunday. I really, really enjoying it. This is amazing way of stitching. If you never try, you have to try. Before you will hate it, you have to try. You know, there are some uh, stitch patterns like Dome, D-O-M-E. They actually, I think, started this way of stitching. They were original in this uh, way of stitching. But that company closed right now. It's not existing. And whatever uh, patterns that uh, from kit that you can find from the Dome, uh, basically it's just left over. But this is just amazing way of stitching. And this would be original kits. But you have to try it. Because you don't need papers, you don't need patterns, you don't need cell phones. You just need threads here. You just need needle that I usually park in here. Like, because I'm stitching right now this uh, cross, uh, purple cross. And sometimes you need scissors. Or sometimes you can use your teeth. <laughs> sometimes. But normally you just need scissors, you need these threads that comes in this design, and I love it. I cannot stop stitching this kind of thread, especially, you know, I can stitch it at work, I can stitch it in the car, I can stitch it in the park, and I, and I just take it, put it in my bag, and I open and I start stitch right away. Like, if I have five minutes, I will be stitching this. Tell me which other pattern you can do with that. And for five minutes, I can do 50 crosses. 50 crosses, yes. This is how fast it is, how easy it is, and how enjoyable it is. That is why I'm not stopping it. I realize how bad the business practice that they do. However, it's not 100% copying it. They change many, many things, and I'm the person who deciding Am I okay with all changes that they created? And I usually just, uh, choose the patterns based on the closer look of the picture. If I'm okay with tone difference between like color of the tree, color of the grass, or color on the horses. Horses could be very different colors. And if, if I don't like something at the end, I always can add a couple of stitches, couple of mixing colors to blend it in a way that I would love to. I don't have problem with that. Um, that is why I'm not choosing every design that they uh, sell. I'm choosing just a few designs where I think that difference could be so subtle and the end would be beautiful. Sometimes before selecting some uh, patterns, I usually look in the internet uh, the way how it looks like already finished pattern and also i should say that when i start my cross stitching four years ago i started my cross stitching because of these kids i saw all of this nothing uh, was excite me but when i saw this i fall in love and i start stitching i think for a year or for two i stitch only joe sunday only last two years i'm trying hayed i'm trying samplers i'm trying different kits i'm trying patterns that I'm buying from Etsy and I'm trying or I create something of my own, some design of my own. But my love to cross stitch start with this and that time I bought like 50 kits, 50 kits, maybe like 45. After that time I bought maybe like five or eight more, but less than 10 more. And I finished a couple of them. I love the end of this project. That is why I, I continue it. Am I planning to buy something else? Most likely no. Because I have everything that I like more than I need. That is why I'm just continue stitching what I have already. And I have so many ideas that I want to... Um, do on my own right now and I discover so many different way of stitching and different patterns from different designers that I want to try. That is why Joy Sunday 
uh, I'm not buying it anymore, but I'm finishing what I have. Yes. This is my thoughts about it. I understand that I'm doing some kind of maybe wrong thing, supporting them, but I start supporting them before I realize what they're doing. And right now I want to continue what I have because I still liking it. But now for sure I change my way. If I like pattern, I will buy it. I will support the designers. Before I didn't realize how important it is. Right now I do and I do support it. And next, I would like to talk with you what I'm going to stitch today. This is my own design. And as I told you before, this would be the giant sampler, sampler of my um, life, for all my life. Because this sampler, I don't think that I will be able, and I don't want to remove few snaps, but this is like one yard uh, wide. And it is uh, one and a half yard long. This is how big will be the sampler. The idea is of this sampler, it's notes from me, mother, to my son. And every, um, every sign, it's actually a Russian letter. Basically, this is one phrase. And all phrases I wrote when I was pregnant. This is a list of phrases that I want to put on that big fabric. And this would be, um, I created alphabet. And this is what I did. Basically, this is my alphabet. I had like several ideas what I want to do, but each sign, it's like one letter. And using this, I'm just writing these nice, nice words. I just finished this uh, top part and like when I finish one uh, sign, I cross one letter. I finish another sign, I cross one letter. I also try to put it in the way that uh, basically this is most important phrase. That is why I put it on the top. Uh, this is already the end, the top of my sampler, of my fabric. And this basically is the top of my sampler. And the uh, if you see, this is two types of fabric, this blue fabric. Uh, the same type of uh, this one, I actually attached it to the gray one. And this is the way that I attached it. If you can see that I have this like zigzag darker uh, blue and zigzag gray, um, gray attaching um, this blue fabric to the gray fabric and darker blue also basically finishing up this, this zigzag. Um, First, I stitched on the blue this uh, pattern, this um, uh, white uh, phrase in white threads. Uh, I also start stitching this design at the bottom. And after that, I realized that I want to attach this blue fabric to the gray fabric. And right now, I'm stitching this, um, uh, this um, line, this white and black, white and black. And I already stitching it through the two fabrics. In this way, if you see, like I have some discordance uh, attaching blue to the gray, and when I continue stitching uh, through the two fabrics, this discordance will go away, and it would be not even noticeable. Uh, for this design, I decided to use these uh, colors. Main color, it this uh, darker. Uh, gray blue <laughs> or green blue uh, also white black and gray I also have here two additional colors most likely I'm not going to use it because I think this would be um, this would be four colors that I'm going to use for all my design gray black white and this is uh, darker blue green this color that actually a little bit darker than this fabric everything would be in four colors and i think this really nicely coordinate between these two fabric very 
uh, bright on each of, each of it, on the gray and on the this blue. It looks really nicely. My main two colors would be white and black, and additional colors would be this gray and blue. I already have... Let me read what I write. В сердце чистая любовь, в мыслях планы на жизнь, а внутри маленькое счастье. This is my main phrase in Russian. What it means? In my heart, clear, bright love. In my thoughts, plans for future life. Inside of me, small happiness. This is my main phrase for this sampler. My sorry, my sampler start, starts with this main phrase, and this is in Russian. And I want to say hi to all my Russian friends who follow me from my Russian channel to English channel. You're very well, very welcome here. I told you before that I want to do two uh, channels, two floss tube in Russian and in English. It's very different to speak about my cross teaching in English. Sometimes I don't have enough words, but I think it will get better. <laughs> but again, this sampler would be in Russian because this is for me, for my son, for my family. We are Russian family. I'm not from Russia, I'm from Kyrgyzstan, but traditions are Russian, my thoughts in Russian, uh, my habits are Russian, <laughs> but we are living our long life already, 14 years I'm here and I will be continue being here. My son was born here, he's American, and this is great mix and I want to incorporate this mixed culture, especially I'm from Kyrgyzstan, from Muslim country. I want to incorporate all of this in projects like this and I'm really happy to do that. I think today I'm going to continue to stitch these. Now I want to show you how I stitch this new project. Here is our flowers. I just did popcorn. Um, actually, this is for Mother's Day flowers. <laughs> I'm going to stitch alphabet on this sampler and I want to stitch this letter A. And this is Russian letter A. It will be Russian alphabet. This is how it's uh, looking closely this project I want to show you and the way that I'm creating my pattern I just take a pen this is a pen that I also bought from Aliexpress and this pen could be removed uh, by water actually I I should say the truth I never bought a pen on the Aliexpress but whenever I'm buying Joy Sunday kids they send me a couple of pens and I, you, you saw my helper, <laughs> my cat, her name is Kisa. And this is how I usually create my pattern. Um, I want to um, stitch alphabet in the square. And that is why right now I'm doing square. And I want to write a letter A here. And I will stitch on top of... Um, my written basically design. <laughs> I look on the picture and I add little by little. This is the size that I want my letter to be. It will be kind of big but as I told you this pattern would be one meter over one and a half meters. That is why um, letters will be big. And I also have another idea that I want to add to the alphabet. It will not be only um, alphabetic letters. No, I also want to add some pictures and some words associated with letter A. This is how I see it on the uh, picture right now. And I think this um, these letters that I found, it's kind of really, really beautiful and unique. I'm going to upgrade it a little bit. You will see how. I want to add some shapes to it. That is why creating patterns is actually really, really easy. You just um, draw what you want and you put your 
letters on top of it. I want to add a little bit uh, additional design over here. That is why you see that there are a little bit difference um, will be in this letter with original designs that I found in Google. This is how letter A going to look like. I think it would be gorgeous. And I also planning to stitch it actually one over one. It means that I'm not going to do crosses, it would be half stitches, but over one threads of fabric. And I, as I told you before, this um, actually 32 count of fabric. It's a little bit uneven, but for this purpose is okay. This is what we see. This is what I found in internet. Gorgeous. It will be just gorgeous. Don't you agree? My cat actually agree. She is really, really helping me here. Ta-da! Few seconds later, you see my final update. Actually, this update took me one, maybe even two evenings before I was able to show you. And this is how it turns. This is my tiny half stitches with uh, double crosses. And this is how my uh, pattern looks like. This is a very unique way of doing patterns. And on top of the letter A, I'm going to stitch this bird because Russian word A, um, it's belong to this um, animal, to this bird, it's iced. English name, it's stork. And this is just beautiful bird. Today is Sunday, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. I wish you and your family uh, a lot of health and a lot of happiness. And I wish that motherhood will make you the happiest person in the world because it's really, really unique, unique feeling. I want to show you what I did today. And right now I have a little bit time because um, I was cooking and I almost done. I was cool. I was cooking uh, Russian soup, borscht. And um, while it's still continue cooking, but the main part is uh, done already. And my family, they went to the store because little by little we start preparing for our movie. Uh, in one and a half months, we're going to move from California to Mississippi because because of my work and because finishing of my education. And I have a little bit time and I was stitching here. And because this video already really long, this is my uh, stitch diary. <laughs> that I decided to share with you. I hope you will like this format. Uh, these plus two videos maybe sometimes would be in this way when I'm going to show you uh, every day or every other day my little progresses. And in this case, um, I could share my um, feelings and my emotions at that time when something happening. Because you know when time passes, I already maybe not emotional about something and I think this could be interesting way to see people progress. I also should say that on Russian Floss Tube this kind of video is very popular. Uh, it was much much more popular before and even now people continue to do that. Some people like this format, uh, some people don't. I actually really like the format when uh, you stitch, uh, you sharing with your viewers. Um, like everyday progress and every day like you create small um, uh, small notes that is why it's called uh, stitching diary uh, on Russian floss tube we actually call it um, stitching stitching week yes and many people showing showing it from Monday to Monday um, I think it could be interesting way to share my progress on my English channels as, channel as well. Um, and I know that this type of video started maybe like two or three years ago by uh, one Russian floss tuber. Her name is Alina Rukadzelia or Alina um, 
hand uh, handmade Alina handmade if translate to English and she started to showing her weekly progress everyday progress and right now every uh, popular <laughs> Russian floss tuber do these type of videos and I just love them um, yes what I am doing right now while I have time I decided to stitch this uh, this two Sunday kit because again it's really easy right for me now these last days sometimes it's much much um, sometimes it's hard <laughs> because so many things going on right now and when I need relax really relax and do nothing and just lay down and during my laying down like stitch I always prefer to choose Joy Sunday kit and especially this Joy the kit, I think it's already progr uh, progress more than um, 60%. Uh, I'm continuing stitching these two colors. I'm stitching with white and I'm stitching with this uh, because of this white I need to stitch a lot. I need to stitch maybe like 300 crosses. But um, because it's too boring, stitch just white and I think I already stitched maybe uh, 1000 like 1500 crosses. Uh, sometimes I just stitch with a um, brighter color, this color. And it means that I already working on this lower part. For example, here I start stitching with this blue-gray color and white, you see here and here, and blue-gray would be all this purple, like purple, it's 47. It would be uh, blue-gray. Uh, blue or blue green <laughs> and uh, this uh, circle blue circle this would be white this is why right now I'm just relaxing during my cooking time during the time when I was like cleaning a little bit on the kitchen and right now I decided to lay down while I waiting my family to come back I will continue to do that and on top of that I wanted to share my progress for last two days with this chart. See how beautiful it become. And this is a bird that I was drawing. I, I found this bird in um, Google. Again, idea is, this is letter A, Russian letter A. It's actually look around the same um, like English letter A. However, you see it's become more artistic um, presentation. I just like uh, this um, alphabet that I found um, online, but of course it's not stitching pattern, but uh, by drawing here I turn it to stitching pa pattern, and this is half uh, crosses, one over one thread, and uh, double crosses, two over two. What means double crosses? It means that one cross is our normal cross, and another cross on top of it, I stitch like this and this cross became very puffy, very big and, and they very um, voluminous. Basically on this um, fabric and on these half crosses you easily can see that double crosses. It's beautiful. And this is how in this alphabet, in this um, note that um, I um, try to um, shade <laughs> this is how letter A for example this is letter A and that is why letter A this is letter A this would be small help that person who want to read what is written here it would be small help letter A and this is my secret letter A and um, A uh, this bird named Ice or Stork in English, but in Russian it's Ice. And I actually want to write here, right now I start writing again, I draw a uh, word Ice or Stork on the fabric and right now I'm stitch over the lines that I draw. And another idea, I want to uh, also stitch a couple of additional words that uh, have really good meaning and it would be my um, 
my wishes uh, to my son about his personality is it started actually with letter A. Um, for example, one word that I will stitch in Russian, but the meaning is um, altruism. Altruism, and I think that English word is altruism as well. Another word that I want to stitch here, authority, because I want him to be strong and opinionated, and I want him, if it's needed to be, I want him to be uh, authoritet, authority. I wanted him to be, um, have this quality. And um, I'm thinking about a couple of other words. Actually, my idea, I'm going to stitch here maybe from two to four words. We will see. <laughs> and after that, I'm going to stitch a border. Border, and this would be just one alphabetic letter, letter A. And after that, it would be B, C, D, E. If you see, this is how big would be the project. And my alphabet will start A, B, C, you know, A, B, V, G, D, E, Y, Z, Z. And continuation of other half of alphabet would, will be from this sign. And another half of the alphabet going to go from top to bottom. And as I joke about my pattern, here is my pattern. This is how beautiful my design looks like. If you want to stitch it, you're welcome to take this pattern and stitch it, stitch whatever you want. <laughs> this is how I create my pattern. Who want to buy it? Just let me know in the comments below. But um, because I'm doing it for myself, I'm not even bothered by creating beautiful chart. I'm creating it for myself. I'm creating whatever in my soul, in my heart, in my thoughts. And this is just general idea what will happen. And like I said, it would be one meter over one and a half meter. And alphabet will go in a line here. And this is the uh, one note that I already created. I didn't finish it completely, but one note would be here. Another note would be here, 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 here. And I want to create it in some kind of symmetry. And sometimes I'm going to do my notes um, in this applique type, uh, what means one fabric on top of another fabric, but sometimes it's going to be stitched just on this gray. I'm just going to see well, in which type of mood I'm going to be. And as you see, it's going to be humongous, humongous project. And that is why I'm calling it project of my life. Project of my life. I hope I will finish it before I will die. <laughs> I'm planning to stitch long, long life, but whatever I can finish, hopefully, it would be a lot. <laughs> yes, this is how my box looks like for this project. I told you that this is my favorite type of organization. In this box, I have threads. Um, I told you before about main colors of the threads that I use here that I also found but this is English version of uh, animals and what the symbol of this animal means actually in Russian culture we also have give a lot of meaning to some uh, maybe nature season or to some um, uh, to some um, maybe symbols or to some animals and I found something similar. I think this is uh, Indian uh, meaning, what the, each of these animal means. But in this type of idea, I'm going to use it uh, for my alphabet. Uh, as you saw, stork or ice, uh, it's not over here, but ice has uh, or stork has very nice meaning. This is a very family oriented bird. Who created a um, couple um, with another bird for almost all life and they nest in each other uh, together and they help in each other and if I uh, or stork living in some um, on some house it's usually a good symbol it means that this is nice 
aura in that house and in that family. And eyes usually bring a lot of luck and happiness to the family, um, to the uh, family who he choose uh, their roof or he choose their place to create a nest there. It is by, it's just beautiful bird, have beautiful meaning. And I found this stork that basically dancing. Dancing stork. How beautiful is that? It's, it's just gorgeous. Like, you should agree, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. <laughs> yes, and this is, as you know, this is my notes that are going to be, um, that are going to be uh, stitched on there. And this is some additional, uh, you, you see, this is two swans that I found. And I have a lot of different uh, designs that I just uh, stitch as a card. And um, sometimes it's not the cross-stitch pattern. It's just something like that. I think using this uh, design, I just create, can create pattern by myself. But this type of um, drawing was used very often in Russian culture um, for decoration of something. That is why I have many cards like this. My original plan about alphabet was something like this, but I found it more beautiful. And this alphabet, actually English alphabet, but because you can change it, I was thinking using this idea, I can change it to Russian uh, design alphabet. But again, I found something more unique and beautiful. Yes, and there are many, many cards with diff different designs here. But again, this is just done for my um, motivation. You know, I still have a little bit time. I will continue to stitch my Joy Sunday kit because I want to relax and lay down. But for now, I want to say you thank you for your interest. I am really surprised and thrilled by all your nice words and your interest that you um, giving me through your comments. I greatly appreciate. I'm really happy that I finally decided to do my floss tube video in English. Um, I'm going to continue to do it in English and Russian and for my Russian viewers uh, that decided to follow me in English as well, I want just to repeat myself and say it again that most likely I'm not going to repeat myself in English and Russian videos because Whenever I feel that I want to do video, I'm going to do it. And if I feel that I want to do it in English, I'm going to do it in English. If I feel that I want to talk uh, about my cross teaching in Russian, I will do it in Russian. That is why, like once a month, couple of times, uh, times a month, I will try to post video in English and in Russian. And I think it's doable, except the time of our movie moving. Uh, yeah, moving would be difficult, that is why at least I promise you one video a month. But uh, as you know, I'm actually active and proactive with my videos if I have time. But in the busy time of life that I have right now, I still have a lot of motivation to share my cross-teaching with you because it helps me a lot. Um, it makes me happy to read your comments, to... Uh, listen your ideas very often you share your ideas with me give me something new and I wanted to do it in the broader way English and Russian uh, I wish we all could speak one language and we all could like share ideas because so many nice and beautiful and gorgeous and interesting Russian first tubers and English floss tubers and European floss tubers and Spanish speaking floss tubers uh, who exist and they share their projects and very often we watch them but unfortunately we don't understand their language but this is just just simple and small uh, things that uh, if you can it could be overcome if you want to really try it could be overcome but again, I think it's still a lot of people who are going to watch us in any language that we decided to um, 
film <laughs> to share. For now, I'm going to say you bye. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for your interest. And thank you very much for your nice, nice words. And again, happy Mother's Day. I think it's really good that I decided to finalize my uh, video today with this motherhood um, motherhood uh, sampler. This sampler is um, notes from mother to son. And again, happy Mother's Day. Bye.